On this video, we're going to talk about my crypto disaster. Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Crypto with I mean, if you like these videos, like, comment and subscribe. Absolutely. So I've been learning about crypto from you and me now for about three or four months. We've been making these videos fairly regularly and you know, slowly but surely I've been like, yeah, you know what? Maybe there is something in this crypto world, crypto space. Yeah. And then, you know, about two weeks ago I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go all in on crypto. So I decided to put a sizable amount of my funds into the crypto space. And so I decided to split them between Bitcoin and Ethereum. And, and then I, I, I spread some money around some other random coins. But then everybody on, on, the, on the YouTube space was saying, no, Ethereum is gonna go by four in the next like six months. You really? Know? That's what everyone's saying. If you could only own one asset over the next 12 months, what would it be? It'd be Ethereum. Because it's the least risky with the highest rewards. All the experts on, crazy. on YouTube are saying Ethereum is going to be up to, you know, maybe 20,000 by the first quarter of next year mm. from its current place of three and a half thousand. Mm. So I thought, yeah, that's a much better idea. I should get rid of my Bitcoin, put it into Ethereum. So that's it. So I had most of, I had like, I had, 80% of my funds in Ethereum. Uh -huh. You know what happened the next day? It went down. It went down. It, the whole thing just crashed. The next morning I, I was looking at it and I was, it was continuing to go down and I was like, oh, what am I gonna do? Should I, should I just bail out of this? Is the whole crypto world exploding right now? And even this morning, it's gone down loads again. Like, I mean, I mean a little bit, it's, you know. So my, my large investment has lost you know, 20% of its value, I mean, and I'm panicked and freaked out. I blame you and I blame everybody else in crypto world. And I blame, blame BitBoy Crypto and I blame the, the, Vin so, the, the Winklevoss brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's in either case, it's an incredible long-term hold. The question is how, how incredible, what varying degree of incredible. Yeah. So you know that regulators are gonna start going after these influencers, huh? Yeah, are they? Well, they are, especially if they pump coins. Yeah, what does that mean, pumping coins? Pumping coins is basically saying, yeah, this coin is gonna go, you're gonna do times 10. It's gonna be a million dollars tomorrow. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Your problem is that, you, did you lose money? Well, yes. Okay, great, and you're gonna keep losing it, okay? So, so it, causes, it's, it's, it causes anxiety, I mean, you know? No, it doesn't. Just forget about it, set it and forget it. Can you do that? How do, how do you deal with that anxiety? How do you, 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 should, you I, should I just take it all out of it? Should I just take it all no, out of it? No, just forget about should it. Should I give up on this crypto dream? Just forget about it, man. You, crypto, you don't make money overnight. The days are gone, okay? The longer we're gonna go into the future, the longer it will take for people to see a 10X, okay? and the harder it will be to see a 10X. I'd be happy to see a 4X. Maybe. But what I'm saying is that like three years ago, four years ago, five years ago, you just needed to identify that, okay, well, this project is actually gonna deliver something. Okay? Mm -hmm. And you 10X. When I, see, when I see the numbers going down so dramatically, that doesn't mean that the whole crypto thing is just literally coming to no, an no, end, does it? Just, no, Because that's, that's what I just fear is happening. It's just the whole thing is just collapsing right as we speak. Oh, yeah. That's not happening. No. Yeah. What's it gonna go? X what? X what? Come on, tell me. Tell me. What is your prediction? X what in the next 12 months? Come on. I think it's gonna go all the way down to 1,700. If that happens, I will literally have to <laughs> find you with a kitchen knife. No, what I'm saying here is that there is a cycle. And I think that this is exactly the time where the cycle gonna basically crashes. Okay? And regulation is coming to DeFi. And that's gonna disturb a lot of the players because a lot of the players, by seeing their token going up, they got really cocky from a compliance standpoint. Say goodbye, man. Bye-bye.